Welcome to Calculating Derivatives, Logarithms and Exponentials. This is part of the Calculus Made Easy series. It's part three. This is a course by Calculus Guru. Today we're going to talk about the t uh, logarithms and exponentials. So we'll begin with a brief algebraic review. So a lot of people don't remember what logs and exponentials are from calculus or from algebra. And so it's always a good idea to review what the concepts are before we look at what the derivatives are. And so we'll take a quick look at that in the algebra review. Uh, we'll go on to actually explain the derivatives. So we'll look at what the derivatives are for both logs and exponentials. And then we'll look at a few common forms that are a little different than the standard and see what those derivatives are. And then finally we'll go on to a few examples and look at how these derivatives are actually implemented in real problems. Okay, so let's take a look at our algebra review of logarithms and exponential functions. So here's an example of a logarithm. Log base 3 of 9 equals 2. So the way I like to read logs is 3 to what power equals 9, rather than saying log base 3 of 9. And so this is a more common way of thinking about what the solution is. And so you can see this form is actually the same truth statement, just in a different form. And so, in this way, we can see 3 to the what power is 9, the solution is 2. And so logs are just a way to express the equation when we know only the 3 and the 9, but not the 2. And so we could say, find log base 3 of 9, is, that's exactly the same as saying 3 to what exponent is 9. So thinking of logs that way always helped me to understand what's actually going on. So there's two special cases with logs. Usually we have a base, but for log base e,